play is whistled down, and I believe we have offsetting minor penalties coming up. Two trails, Jason Milne and Nelson's Rob Svensson. Yes, they couldn't resolve their differences before the referee came along, so they'll have to settle it in the penalty box. And Trail is running out of time here, so I guess uh, they'll be getting a little anxious to get at Nelson in one way or another. So if you can get under their skin, perhaps you can uh, cause a disturbance enough to get some goals. As you heard Ted Ryan explain, on sportsmanlike conduct called against the two uh, players. As the Smoke Eaters clear the puck into the center ice area, it's gobbled up now by Derek Macero. Macero loses it. And the Maple Leafs clear it to the trail nine, where Holm plays it ahead to Macero, who kicks it in to Caban. Caban's shot is uh, in front of the net. Scramble for the puck. It uh, came loose, but uh, Trail managed to clear it into Nelson territory. Offside, they clear the zone. And back come the Maple Leafs. Here's a chance. There's a hard shot off the post. And the puck sat tantalizingly in the crease. No Nelson player nearby as it was gobbled up by Brent Holm. And he hung on for the faceoff. We have a little bit of pushing and shoving in the corner. Play whistled down. Nice play there by uh, Jason Smith as he plays with his head up. And he just passed it off to Green who had a nice shot. It was low but just hit the mesh outside the right post there beside uh, Penoyer. We're still at 4-2 with uh, just under five minutes to go in the third period. And it uh, looks like nothing will become of uh, those words said in the corner to the left of Penoyer. We noticed that Josh West had a brief appearance on the ice on the uh, last uh, line situation. He uh, has seen limited action tonight. If uh, that wasn't his uh, first appearance at all. I've seen him a few times, but uh, hasn't really made his uh, Maple presence Maple Leafs on the known. attack now. Mike Gray. Here's Gray uh, losing control of the puck. The loose puck in front of the net, and Penoyer, very, in a very unorthodox manner, kept the puck out. I noticed that he just, uh, instead of clearing the puck to the corners, he pushes them straight ahead. It sort of does the breast stroke as he goes down. Along the boards in uh, trail territory, the smoke eaters, Trailing 4-2 with 4-11 remaining in the third period. The Maple Leafs hanging on to their lead, and here they come again. Shandy Mowry and over the line. Mowry takes the return pass, fires right on Penoyer. Hangs on for the faceoff with Matt Shares right at his doorstep. And we'll have a faceoff with 3.58 left to play in the third period. 4-2, the Nelson Maple Leafs leading over the Trail Junior Smoke Eaters. Well, I don't know. If I was Penoyer tonight, I wouldn't really be in love with my defenseman. They're sort of letting him take about three or four whacks at him uh, as far as the Leaf uh, forwards are concerned, and then they finally move in and say, okay, well, we'll break this up. But uh, the Leafs are getting a few good cracks at Penoyer before the defensemen come in to cover the play for him. To the blue line, Parker's shot off the target. Another shot. That was deflected wide. And trail back on the attack. A puck uh, cleared by Rabalato into Nelson territory. The Maple Leafs starting back as Bowery just uh, let the puck go. He had hoped that Ward might pick it up, but racing it over the line is Corey Neal. Neal, a shifty hockey player, as the Maple Leafs clear the puck down the ice right on to Penoyer. Penoyer out of the net, fires the puck off the boards. The Maple Leafs clear it back in again. Trail dumps it back into Trail territory, or into Nelson territory. And the Maple Leafs and Smoke Eaters just uh, content to just play the puck back and forth. Here's uh, Shandy Maori again. Maori tried to uh, set up Jeff Ball, but the puck was cleared out. And uh, the Maple Leafs 
Jeff Ball with the puck, clearing it outside his own line. And here comes, uh, shot scores! Jason Smith, let one rocket go for the upper corner on the stick side of goaltender Shane Penwire. And uh, he just took that puck on the pass from Dustin Green and just let, let fly just inside the trail blue line. And it caught everybody off guard. And probably the most surprised person in the arena was goaltender Shane Penware, who was more or less setting himself for a play to be made. Jeff Ball also getting the assist on the play with two minutes and 40 seconds now left to play. And the Maple Leafs holding a 5-2 to two lead over the Trail Smoke Eaters. There's a pass in front of the Trail goal. The Smoke Eaters clear it out to the Nelson line as Kevin McConaughey dumps it ahead. It rolls down into Trail territory. Off the boards and uh, back to center ice where Resnick fires it into Trail territory. Svensson after it. He was bumped off the puck. It's cleared by McConaughey into trail territory. He catches two of his teammates offside, so, and it touched one of them, so the faceoff will be outside the trail blue line with exactly two minutes to play in the third period, five to two for the Nelson Maple Leafs. And boy, did the uh, Jason Smith ever let that one go. Yeah, he couldn't have had much more room in that uh, top right-hand corner. He uh, was drifting up beautifully and uh, just went underneath the crossbar. And like you mentioned, I think the most surprised person in the rink was Penoyer, but he was sort of mesmerized by that shot. And it I cannot see Beaver Valley losing at home to Spokane. However, I could see Grand Forks losing in Columbia Valley tonight, which yep. would give uh, the Maple Leafs a four-point bulge. Well, there's no question about the fact that the Western Division of the KIJHL is the uh, most competitive division going. The puck cleared down into trail territory. Penoyer out of the net, clears it in front of his own net. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, this kid lives dangerously. He really does. Penoyer again with the puck. He plays it in behind his own net. And McConaughey trying to clear it down. He couldn't. Now Mike Gray has it. Plays it onto the wing. It's just dumped to the trail line. And it's rolled back into Nelson territory where Mark Resnick picks it up. Resnick to McConaughey. McConaughey, a forward pass. Picked up by McLeod, and McLeod ran into one of his own players along with a Nelson player. And now we've got uh, elbows and shoulders being tossed about, and I trust that the game's not going to end on uh, an ugly note as uh, they still have to meet each other one more time, and uh, the clubs, of course, individuals do have memories, and uh, then, of course, we can't forget playoffs. They might be meeting down the line there. That's right. 26 seconds remaining in the third period, and in the game, the Maple Leafs just clearing the puck out off the rim of the glass. Play is whistled down. 19 seconds remaining in the hockey game. The Maple Leafs leading by the score of 5-2, to two, and we can safely say the Maple Leafs have themselves two points in the kitty and uh, maintain their hold on third place in the Western Division on the KIJHL. Two seconds to go and that's the hockey game and the final score five to two Nelson. Thirty-five saves by Penoyer and thirty saves 
for Joel Casey, the final tabulation in shots on goal. And uh, Rick, the final score, 5-2 to two for the Nelson Maple Leafs over the Trail Junior Smokiners. And uh, the Maple Leafs certainly well worth and full marks for their victory. Oh, they look good tonight. Uh, trail didn't look as sharp. Uh, now that the smoke is cleared and the fog is lifted, uh, the final score reads a Nelson victory. Only one goal in that third period. That going to a beautiful shot by Jason Smith and an assist uh, from...